Hey guys, iDevice Help here and major day for Apple in terms of software. All of their iOS devices including the Macs received an update today. Mac OS 10 Sierra 10.12.4 was officially released. Of course iOS 10.3 was officially released worldwide and I really want to talk about this so stay tuned. Watch OS 3.2 was rolled out for all Apple Watch users so if you want to update to that it's available right now. And of course tbOS 10.2. So let's begin. Okay guys so I want to start off the video by telling you that if you're running the latest iOS 10.3 beta 7 you won't see a software update populated in your software update section because iOS 10.3 beta 7 as I mentioned on my previous beta coverage was the gold master copy so you won't see an update however everyone else worldwide can go to general software updates and you'll see the prompt here for iOS 10.3 populating and if you want to update to 10.3 go ahead and do so a lot of security enhancements and improvements and some new features as well if you want to catch the entire review for iOS 10.3 I'll link you guys down below now I also wanted to address jailbreakers. I know you guys are waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 10.2.1 for all 64-bit devices and the developer of iOS 10.2 jailbreak, Luca Tedesco, quickly tweeted out to save your SH blobs and if you're running iOS 10.2.1 to stay there and that he was done with jailbreak. And he later confirmed that no jailbreak release is imminent by him but he does recommend to stay on 10.2.1 as it is for every iOS software update. So of course when Apple releases a new software more security is added and that makes it a little difficult to execute a jailbreak. So stay away from 10.3 if you're looking to jailbreak. I also wanted to address bugs and glitches. If you watch my latest bugs and glitches with an iOS 10.3 video, which if you haven't, I'll link you guys down below as well. Uh, they're all still possible. The ability to remove the labels from the icons, as you can see there, uh, the ability to remove the status bar, all those neat little tricks, recording video from the lock screen without uh, having the display on, all that stuff is still possible on the official release of 10.3. And the last thing I wanted to address with iOS 10.3 is to everyone who is looking to update to 10.3, it is very very important that you connect your device to the computer open up iTunes and click a backup. Save all your pictures, all your content. iOS 10.3 is one of the major updates to Apple's operating system, iOS, and it brings a brand new Apple file system. Now, this comes directly from Apple, of course, but you never know when things may go wrong, so be sure to back up everything before you update to 10.3. And as I mentioned, jailbreakers, stay away from 10.3, and uh, let's cross our fingers for the Pangu team to execute a jailbreak here in the next couple of weeks for the latest version of iOS 10. I have my hopes up with the Pangu team. Let's see. And in terms of battery performance, I want to let you guys know on Twitter because it takes a while to test multiple devices. If I notice any difference that's drastic, I'll let you guys know on Twitter what those are. And of course, the performance will be identical from iOS 10.3 Beta 7, which is the same as the official release. So in terms of internal performance, is identical. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.